example, if she hears what I'm saying and she's going to tell me to shut up my mouth and uh, for example talking outside now. So I definitely have insecurities and this seems so strong. This is our plan of escape. Um black or blue pen. I'm lying. I am lying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome to my channel. Um, I knew there are not so there are not there are lots of new people on my channel, so I thought I would do a get to know me tag, so you guys know more about me. Please um, ignore the noise. Um, I live in a noisy place, and they just like make noise. So yeah, um, I tried my best with this lighting. Do you guys is lighting okay? But anyway, let me stop talking. So I got my hair done yesterday, and. Um, no, she literally took all my hair out. <laughs> like my edges are not there again, and my forehead is out shiny. <laughs> so hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther, and if you're new to my channel, click subscribe button and also like. So I guess the first thing you like to know about me is what my name is. My full name is Farmoloa Esther Davis. So that's my first name, which is the name that has my channel through it. Yeah, that's my first name. But then my name is longer than that. Long, long, long. Like Yoruba people have long names. Um so another so I have a couple of questions I'm going to be answering now. If you were another person would you be your friend? Hmm. Hmm. Because a lot of people tell me, a lot of people that are my friends tell me that um, before they were my friends, they thought I was one kind of rude um, person that, you know, just annoying. They just thought I was some kind of nonsense girl. That's what people tell me. and. Not just that, people, some people, people that are not my friends that don't know me, their first impression about me is like... <coughs> so, um, from what people have said, I really don't really know. From talking about my father as another person, I, I would get these guys taking selfies. <laughs> I'll be my friend though, I'll be my friend. <laughs> um, do you use sarcasm a lot? Yes, I use sarcasm a lot because yes you just have to i'm sure everyone wants to see you everyone who does that will give the same answer i want to say something so do you understand what i'm saying i don't know bro what is your favorite cereal hmm. this morning i ate eight so this morning i ate um i ate conflicts now let me tell you i'm going to answer this conflicts and the Esther of like three years ago, if she hears what I'm saying, eh, she's going to tell me to shut up my mouth. Uh, uh, uh. So let me tell you why it's conflicts, not Kellogg's room. Because Kellogg's room, that one just becomes too soft. This conflict in my house takes its time to become soft. Like, this cereal knows what it's doing. Like, it's so chewy. Like, like take your time it doesn't become soft and that's how most cereals is made in nigeria like biscuits like <laughs> but then i actually like it like that when it doesn't become soft immediately so mm. but then generally my best cereal is cherries do you think you are strong um or confident well um Mm, I think I'm strong in some parts of my life and confident in some parts of my life. That's what I'm going to say. Because I don't think you can be confident in everything or strong in everything. Like, um, like for example, talking outside now. I don't think you can be confident. You can be confident in that. And then um, another thing, you may not be confident in that. You know, like in specific things so i'm just going to say in specific things i'm strong in that and specific things i'm confident in that because you know i'm probably going to most end most of my sentences say you know yeah <laughs> that's what i say when i don't know, have anything to say so i just end the sentence like that what is the first thing you notice about people before i would have said their shoes huh? because i always look down like when I look at people, I don't look at them in the face because I'm, um, you know, I just bring my head down. Like, 
that's what I used to do. But then um um I guess I guess their face is that a general thing. It's it's a thing, it's one thing. I noticed their face, so that's what I'm going to say. And if I can't give that answer, I'm going to say hmm. It's maybe people's teeth, but then first it's the whole thing. You see their whole face, you their whole body, that's what you see first now. Uh, so yeah. So um, the next question is um what is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is bubblegum of the ones nobody knows about. But then if you ask from the general one everyone knows strawberry, vanilla and um, chocolate. Um I would prefer to mix all of them together. I make one flavor. If you were a crayon, what color would you be? If I was a crayon, hmm. speaking of crayon then, I just recently saw that they made neon colors like neon pink and neon green. I'm like, wow, this world is moving on. Like in those days, the only crayon colors we had was red, blue, green, yellow. Just like five inside, and that's all. That's all you get. Color, man, come color. But now there's neon, there's white, there's black, there's the different shades of purple. Anyway. Yeah, I think I would be oh purple. That looks nice. Yeah, I think I would purple or white maybe. Last movie you watched? Um, last movie I watched was Material Girls. Favorite sound. Favorite sound. Like I don't know if it's because of my age and how much of us spend our time in our in in their room. Or black or blue pen. <laughs> I don't even know why this question is part because when I was in secondary school, people were like black pen, like some people just liked black pen, like they that's all that's in their nose. You can say black pen is more professional, it makes everything look better. Blue pen for us normal people that just want to write and go away. That's all. Favorite smells. If I answer this question, I am lying. I am lying. I am lying to you and I am not telling you the truth. Favorite smell? Me smell? Hmm. I and smells and uh, we are poles apart. Like we're not friends. Like I don't like smells. I'm talking about other people's smells though, my own eh. Uh, because you know when you put on your perfume, you don't smell it. So I put on perfume and maybe when you put on you smell, but when it goes that it's other people's own you'll be smelling. So when I smell something, eh, my whole body just changes. My mood changes. Like like if I smell someone's perfume, uh it's like it enters my nose and changes my whole stomach. And if the worst ones when their perfume is very strong, bro, I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> oh god. P perfumes like smells like na 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 even food like when regular people smell food and they become hungry me i smell the food and i'm hungry and then i will not eat then my stomach then i start to salivate and then the spit doesn't want to go and then my throat then that's why most times i'm like but if i was to pick one i'm going to say cherry blossom if you could learn a new skill what will it be um i would like to learn how to like fix cars like fix my own cars i would like to learn how to make cars like fix cars not make or fix fix like nobody wants their car to get spoiled but then in case that happens I, I would want to be able to pick the jack and do those things myself and change the tire and then get the oil done and the water and the radiator and da -da 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 -da. yeah so do you drink tea or coffee with sugar um tea i like tea more I take tea more and I don't take my tea with sugar unless it is a um, Milo. Milo. If it's Milo, then. No, no, no. I don't even take Milo with sugar. I don't even know why you'd be doing that. The sugar in Milo is too much. So just put the Milo like that. Um, unless it's the Lipton, that's what I wanted to say. When you put in the milk and then you put in the Lipton, then you put sugar inside. But then if it's just regular Lipton without milk, I'm not putting sugar inside. Or other ones like um, ginger or something like that. You don't need sugar for that. I'm not going to tell you what you need. Did I mention I uh, overthink? Eh? <laughs> I overthink. So. <laughs> 
I use my hand to talk a lot too. <laughs> because when you talk with your hand, eh, you can feel like you're in control and you're, you know, you're bending. You know, I, just, I told you I finished watching Amsa, so like you're like controlling the conversation and what the comment of your mouth. Yeah, so. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how judgmental are you? My answer is going to be 5. Because everybody judges people here. Yeah? And I don't know if I'm telling myself that to make myself feel better, but then um, everyone judges people, and um, I have stopped like it has been reducing very well. I don't judge people when they do things wrong, and I think that is bad about me. Like, when someone does something wrong, I'm like, okay, it's okay, it's fine. Even if they do something wrong to me, I'll say, okay, it's fine. Instead of making them realize the wrong they have done, that's what I do. I'm not saying it's right to judge people, but then I have taken it too far. I know definitely you can see somebody doing something wrong and then in your heart you're just like then what this person is doing is no good, it's no good. And when people are doing something bad then and they have so many people pitching in and saying stuff, they 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 just get angry like <laughs> you know my mom, you can't tell me what to do and yes, we can nobody can tell you what to do but then when people are just looking out for you and I even know I know how that feels when a lot of people are just putting their mouths inside your business. You know, you just don't have the right to. So the next question is, what do you think about insecurities? Um, yeah, um, I think I have, before I used to think, or the general thing people think insecurities are about the body, your face, your nose, your parts, you know, or your color or something like that. The light off, the light on. So I was talking about insecurities and eh, eh, eh. So I think everyone has them and I learned more about them. I learned securities are the opposite of security. It is when you don't feel secure. So when you have things and you don't feel secure about those things, um, I learned you can be emotionally insecure and uh, so many other things. Something I also learned was um, these insecurities come from you or come from something someone has said or people have done that affected you so let's say you see someone else's body and then you feel jealous or something that came from you know that person so what my point is um since it started from you um it's going to end with you so that's just a way of knowing that you can overcome that thing that you think is greater than you because it's just all in your head um sometimes you may think people are forcing that thing down your throat for them um it starts with you the confidence starts with you the self-esteem the only thing that can push you out of that thing is you so you should know that you are strong enough to do it um emotionally or whatever it is um and again i think when you change that thing about you i don't think that's the way of covering your insecurities or, or just changing it's like it's like when you lose something someone's like just buy another one you can't just buy another one like that one is special it has a meaning you know if, i definitely have insecurities and it seems so strong at some at times but then at other times i'm like i can do this i can totally put that thing in the trash this is the layout of how i'm going to defeat this thing you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm prepared for you like i'm prepared that's how it is um you know you just have to know yourself you know like tell yourself like this is what we're going to do this is our defense this is our plan of escaping or breaking free or whatever you want to call it or whatever you want to call it so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if there's any other thing you want to know about me then comment down below and i will answer it um don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're new and also like the video Bye, have a lovely night, day, evening, afternoon.